Good morning, everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my semi-luxury skincare routine. Mostly, I would like to call it my nice-to-have skincare routine, sort of the spoil-yourself skincare routine. And the reason I say that is not just because some of the price points here are a little bit wild, but also because a lot of the products here are fragranced. When I, my skin can really handle it, I'm like, ooh, this is like a very nice-to-have. Generally, if you guys have watched a lot of my videos, you will know that I actually don't have super sensitive skin, but I also do have sometimes skin when, you know, I have gone through sun damage or if I am having eczema, etc. then this is usually not the skincare routine that I would use. So if you have extremely sensitive skin, this is a disclaimer that maybe this is not the video for you. The second one is because some of the other chemicals here are really harsh. So I feel like I would probably use something a little bit more gentler, but nevertheless, I really wanted to share this video because this is a skincare routine that I actually get so much enjoyment from and it actually has been something I've been using for the last month. So I really wanted to share with you guys in case you guys also love these products and also some of the more expensive products. I wanted to tell you guys which ones exactly are worth the value or not. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. I'm using this little headband. Honestly, I thought it was overrated, but I actually quite like it. It just kind of makes me look very cute in the moment. The first product that I have is this Caudalie toner. This is the Vino Perfect toner and it is used for brightening. This product, like I said, is fragranced. So I don't necessarily recommend this for people with sensitive skin. However, I really do enjoy this product a lot. And I just think it's a really nice product for my base. If you don't want to waste the product, I do not not recommend using it on a pad, but here I have a reusable pad. This has served me very well. I will link it on my Amazon storefront, but if you want to waste absolutely no product, do not use a pad. Just use your hands and fingers and just like pat it into your skin. But generally I like to use this pad because a lot of the times I shave my face in the morning and when I shave my face, there's a lot of leftover things. And this is just kind of like the step where I get to wipe away all that extra debris and hair and peach fuzz so it gives me like a very nice base to my skincare routine i will show you guys how you can do it if you don't want to use a pad as well you just put it on your fingers and then you dab it all over your skin like so honestly there's no correct way it's just really your preference i used to do this step a lot but now i've sort of switched to the pad and then whatever tickles you fancy. The next step is my serum. So the serum that I've been using is the SkinCeuticals CE Ferolic Serum. This one is a product that works on all skin types because there is no scent. However, this vitamin C is quite strong and obviously a little bit pricey. Once again, this is one of the products where I don't necessarily use this when I have either like pimples, eczema or whatever, just because the vitamin C is very strong. And I just kind of go like this spread it all over my face. If you guys don't know what vitamin C does, it pretty much is the most effective way to brighten your skin. One thing I wanna note is I actually avoid my under eyes when I apply my vitamin C. I don't know why, I think it's just because in my head, I'm like, it's a very strong chemical. So that's why I do that. I also think I saw it in a video. So I started doing that. Before I show you the next serum though, I do want to put on my lip balm because it's feeling a little bit chapped. The one I'm using is the Mango one by Laneige. This I'm just obsessed with as a lip mask and it has like a very glowy look to it. The next serum that I am going to show you is also by SkinCeuticals. This is the PTOX. I don't know if this is the correct way to pronounce it, but this serum is basically to really help you get rid of fine lines. Actually on their website, they said that it is recommended to use this after the vitamin C. And you can also use this product at night as well. I think in their study on the website for this product, the participants of this study showed visible reduction in their fine lines. But I think the participants also use the product morning and night. So, and obviously consistently. So you need to keep that in mind if you're not immediately seeing results. But I do put this after my vitamin C as my second serum. At this point, I will put on my eye cream. The first product that I always put on before I put on my eye cream, you guys can't see it now just because I've touched this so much that literally the entire 
wording and packaging has come off, but this product is the Innisfree Eye Serum. The reason I liked this eye serum is because number one, it has this little silvery ball thing. I just really like this because it cools the under eye and you can see that the product just comes out like this. This is a serum, so it makes it really easy for application. And then followed by, I really like to use this Bobbi Brown Eye Cream. It's part of their vitamin enriched eye base. And like I said, if you guys have seen my other videos, I really like their face cream and they've just expanded to the eye cream. The face cream is, you guys, oh my gosh, so good. And also it dupes as a primer. So you can use one product instead of having to use two. This product is also really good because before you do your makeup with this type of eye cream, which is so hydrating, it avoids a lot of creasing when you do your concealer. So this is what I usually use before I do my makeup. Finally, for moisturizer, I'm using the Clarence Day Moisturizer. This one is their multi-active day one. They have the exact same moisturizer in night. And I don't know why I like the night one even more. The smell of the night one is so nice. I'm almost done it. Whereas this one, I'm kind of just really getting an indent to it. This one smells really nice too, but honestly, nothing compares to the night one. But this one, I really like the consistency of it because it's extremely light, especially for a daytime. I just like to put a hydrating moisturizer at the same time very light only because I usually put on makeup. So when you're layering on so many products from toner, serum, moisturizer, sunscreen, primer, and then foundation. Honestly, the last thing you want is a cream that is super, super thick. I like to usually reserve that for the nighttime. Last step of my skincare routine, I will always put on sunscreen. So the sunscreen that I'm putting on is the La Mer SPF. This one shocked me as to how good it is. So if you're thinking about spoiling yourself in getting an SPF, this is one where I might indulge in recommending you to spend your money. I don't know what it is about the sunscreen. I used it all summer. It's also very easy to take traveling, but it is so nice and lightweight. I don't know if you guys can see the blending of this. It's not tacky. It literally just goes into your skin so smoothly. I even put on my eyelids. As you can see, immediately melts into my skin. This is honestly, truly a product that I'm so shocked with that I'm like, you know what? The price, I feel like this is something that other people should try out. And then you decide for yourself if you think it is as well as I thought it was. This is a product, like I said, I brought with me all summer. The other reason why it's really good is it's SPF 50. A lot of sunscreens start at 30, which is fine. But if you're especially more sensitive to the sun, if you have light, lighter pigment, this is a really good one. It is a UV protecting fluid. Honestly, I give props to the name because really emphasizing on the fluid. The four products in terms of price that give me that whoa vibe is probably the La Mer sunscreen, the toner and the two serums. Everything else, I'm not saying that it's cheap, but it's definitely not as in the, whoa, are you joking me type of, you know, number because there's a lot of skincare products in kind of like this category that has sort of similar pricing. Anyway, this is my current skincare routine. It's got my skin looking and feeling so nice and I am ready to do my makeup and I will post a updated makeup routine as well in the next video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this skincare routine and let me know if you guys want to see a nighttime one as well. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.